Hello, welcome to the class of PHP Programming Language. So today we are going to discuss about how to fetch a row at a time. So here we will include a code that will fetch a row at a time. And uh, as in previous lecture, we have discussed about a method that is fetch underscore associate method that is used to assess the item from a SQL row one item at a time. But here we are using a method that is fetch underscore array method that will fetch a row at a time. So uh, starting with this program, I have included the server name, username, password as well as the database name. And uh, after adding this, I have created a connection and after that checking the connection, then we are created the query query is same as we have discussed in previous lecture and uh, I think uh, here also I use the same objects that is result con entries so here the change is here that in the for loop so as in previous lecture we have you uh, we have seen that in for uh, for statement we have included a large number of code so to reduce the size of this code we can use this uh, uh, this method that is fetch underscore array so here the fetch underscore array method is used to retrieve single rows at a time it return a single row of data as an array and which is then assigned to the array row so here we are creating a new object for that that is row so for row object we have created here first of all uh, starting from here four and we have included a uh, included a loop condition that is j equals to 0 j less than entries and plus plus j and coming to the statement part we have here we have created a new object row and row here row is equal to result that uh, uh, assigning fetch underscore array method and in method we have uh, included the mysql associate so here it returns three type of array according to the past value here we can use the mysql underscore number or we can use mysql underscore associate or we can use here the mysql underscore both so as here we are using the mysql underscore associate so with uh, mysql underscore number if you in included here and um here it this that is for the numeric array and each column appears in the array in the order in which is which it is defined when we created the table in the sql after that in mysql underscore associate that we have create uh, included here it is the associative array it will here each key is the name of the column and the item of data is referenced by the column name so it is very useful for making debugging of the code easier so that's why we are using this mysql underscore associate after that the next one is mysql underscore both so if you will write that that is the combination of associative as well as the mysql numeric array so this is about the different uh, uh, array pass, uh, a different pa passed value for this array so coming to this uh, code that is included in echo statement so here we have included the same html special character function and in parenthesis we have included a array where that is associated with the row object like writer book title year isbn and we are ended up with this break statement and uh, after ending this for loop we have used this close method to close the memory or to free the memory that is used by this script so let's see how it will display it in the browser for that i am using this run object so here it will display as follow like it is uh, first of all it is giving connected successfully to mysql server that is uh, showing the result of this if statement this statement and after that it is running the query and fetching the result from this counter table by using this for loop so it is showing writer name title category year and isbn and same way if you will uh, see the result of this that we have uh, discussed in earlier lecture the program if you will run it it will generate a same result that it will give a writer book title year id in isbn same way so this is the way how you can get a row at a time from the table so this is for that we have to use this fetch underscore array thank you